The Black Plague. 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 Yes, sirrah. Dost thou like the speechifyings of Barack Obama? <laughs> Nay, my lad. Why, my lad? I'd rather not say, my lad. Come on. Come on. Open up, my lad. <laughs> oh, all right. If you're gonna call me my lad. Nay. I do not love the speechifyings of this Barack Obama. Whom? Virtually the entire globe doth sing the praises of, doth say, he is one of the best speakers ever. Nay, nay, I think not, my friend, if thou wouldst listen with other than a tin ear. If thou wouldst listen with other than a tin ear, one would hear. Obama's rhythms are uncertain. <laughs> yes, I really believe this. Obama is not a great speaker, my friend. His rhythms are uncertain. His accent wavers. <laughs> Give me a break, my lad. Why, what do you mean, my lad? <laughs> His rhythms are uncertain. His accent wavers and falters. The sure sign of a phony, my lud. <laughs> Stop calling me my lud, sirrah. What the hell does my lud mean anyway? <laughs> sirrah, whatever. Hey, my good friends, to these ears which be not made of tin, check it out. You know, Obama has a tendency to make really bad decisions. And if you point this out, you'll get called a racist. Think about some of Barack Obama's bad decisions. Quitting his church of 20 years. Doesn't look good on the old resume, Obama. Abandoning public financing just like that so he could rake in tons of Wall Street dough. Call me a racist and I will smite you upon the stars. I will wrap you across the matter. I shall call you out, sir! More bad decisions by Obama, which, if you point them out, will get you called a racist. Reneging on vice of Obama. Throwing away his list of supporters the minute he took office, Obama. Appointing only neocons and the bad members of the Clinton cabinet. That's the bad members of the Clinton cabinet to his cabinet, Obama. Hanging around Ram Emanuel, a mistake if there ever was one, and I say that with love. Obama. Wanting to build more nukes? Did you know that in one of his State of the Union addresses, Obama promised a nuclear renaissance? Go Obama! Malad, oh, Sarah, whatever. <laughs> Obama is not a great speaker. His rhythms are uncertain. His accent bloody shifts. <gasps> if I didn't do better, I would say, "Twas the sure sign of a phony."
<laughs> What's with that Shakespearean stuff? Makeup! Oh, thank you, I forgot my makeup. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm sorry about all that Shakespearean stuff, that pseudo Shakespearean stuff. I was in a pseudo Shakespearean mood. Why not? It's an election year, and that means, I'm sorry, anybody who criticized Barack Obama is going to be called a racist. Oh, come on. Oh, you know, I'm calling a spade a spade. This is one of the pleasures, uh, one of the privileges. Well, you know, they tell me it's a right. Free speech, remember that? <laughs> well, <clears throat> okay, these are miserable times. If you are watching this from a distant planet, or oh, I don't know, another dimension, or the end of time, you might not know just how very, very, very miserable things are right now, okay? In case you're thinking to yourself, why the hell is this crazy guy kvetching so much? Well, I've been having feelings of sympathy with Republicans. That's pretty creepy. <laughs> hey, if you watch this show all the way through, alive. If you watch this show all the way through and live, you'll see there's a little thing comes on here at the end called Republican Sex Scandals. <laughs> Okay. So, that's part of the creepiness of the times we live in. Republican sex scandals. Go there now! No, 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 wait a minute. The show stops now. I'm sorry. If the show stops while we wait for you to get on the web. Now don't stop watching the show, damn it. There's not going to be any more music, no more rap, no more dancing around. No more of those light show things or whatever that is, that weird sound things. No nothing to you get your lazy butt up on the web now and look up that Republican sex scandals link that comes at the end of this show. Wait a minute, wait a minute. How the hell long have you been watching this show? You haven't gone to that website once? What, what the hell is wrong with you? Hey, what the hell's wrong with you? What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> oh, I said that I wasn't gonna do anything until you went to that website. Well, never mind. Okay, you don't have to really go to the website. This was just a little sidebar. Uh, the Republican sex scandals thing, in case you're wondering. Um, <laughs> you really gotta see this place. You really gotta see what kind of Perverted, degraded, degenerate sexual activities so many Republicans are into, it makes you want to vomit! It makes you want to vomit, yeah. There, 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 there. Everything is going to be all right. Repeat after me. Everything is going to be all right. All will be well, my friend, and all manner of things shall be well. Perry could not finish the point. This is a satiric representation of the Buddha, meant in no way to demean the noble 
Buddhist religion. Do you hear me? My friends, Perry could not finish his point. <laughs> Perry the wimp could not finish his point. <laughs> But the point was very simple. Can you imagine how creepy it makes poor Perry Logan feel to have sympathetic feelings toward Republicans who are such sexual degenerates? Who are such sexual degenerates? That's, I think, what Perry was trying to say. Oh, by the way, it's an election year. Uh, have you been called a racist yet? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> well, just try criticizing Obama. And get ready, baby! Uh, the reason I'm feeling this unsettling sympathy for Republicans is that uh, uh, they are being called racist a lot. Why are Republicans being called racist a lot? Perry? Uh, because it's an election year, Perry. That's right. It's an election year. Have you been called a racist yet? Hi, it's Jim. 26, 2012, an election year. Have you been called a racist yet? All you have to do is criticize Barack Obama. It's guaranteed. Not only do the Obamacrats play the race card, my friends, it's the only damn card they have. Let's face it, things are worse than ever under Barack Obama. Under the stewardship of Barack Obama, the misery index is at a 28-year high. America's credit rating has been downgraded for the first time in American history. Go by! The standard of living for Americans has fallen further and more steeply over the past three years than at any time since the government began recording it five bloody decades ago! There you go, my friends. Things are worse than ever, and yet if you criticize Obama, you are almost certain, do 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 certain, I do 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 certain to be called a racist. This gives Perry something in common with Republicans he would rather not have. Five bloody decades ago? That's what I said, let's not freak out. The unemployment rate now stands at 9%. October marked the 33rd consecutive month in which the unemployment rate was above the 8% level that the Obama administration said it would not exceed as a result of their stimulus program. 28 of the last 30 months have seen unemployment at 9% or above. Obama is now on track to have the worst jobs record of any president in the modern era. Go Obama, go Dems, go Obamacrats. And by the way, have you been called a racist yet? It's the only damn card they have. It's the race card. It's the only damn card they have. Right, Obama? Right, Obama. It's the only damn card I have. Oh so, during this selection year, if you criticize me, you're going to be called a racist. Go, Obama! On a more somber note, the share of the eligible population holding a job has reached its lowest level since July 1983. Under my watch, chronic unemployment is worse than the Great Depression. Now how about that speech impediment, huh? Under my guidance, almost 26 million are either unemployed, marginally attached to the labor force, or involuntarily working part-time. A number experts say is un un unprecedented. That's why I play the race card all the time. That's why he plays the race card all the time.
January 26th, 2012. It's an election year. It is an election year, and I, Perry Logan, have been called a racist already. Oh, I'm not lying. Uh, this is no fantasy. I know. I know the whole, like, number one thing is a fantasy, but it is not a fantasy, but a statement of sad fact that I have already been called a racist by some little dipstick. Now, if you can get me the names and addresses of any of those dipsticks who dared to call me a racist, <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm number one. You know, how, you know the pressure of being number one is like this. <laughs> pressure uh, of being number one is like this. It's like this. Things are so damn bad. The race card is the only card Barack Obama has. I see you agree. Hey, I'm glad you agree. The race card at this point is the only card Barack Obama has. Right, Barack? Yes, Perry. Have you been the worst Democrat ever, Barack? Yes, Perry. Are people leaving the Democratic Party in droves ever since you came along? Yes, Perry. I'm the worst Democrat ever. I'm the worst Democrat in all the parallel universes of bad Democrats. To say nothing of this speech impediment. We're not talking about your notable speech impediment at this point, just about your terrible record. Wouldn't it be true to say the race card is all you got, baby? Well, I could play the killing people illegally card. Okay. Okay. I'm reasonable. We'll give you that, Obama. We will give you that killing people extra judicially card. Okay. okay, I was using hyperbole. Excuse me. Will you calm down? Will you calm down? I was using hyperbole! I was exaggerating, okay? Yeah, I guess Obama has a card or two, and, uh, but I, I think the only card of any potency or power is the bloody race card! I have been called a racist already, you see? Now, if you want to make an enemy for life, call me a racist.
I just ate the last scene, okay? For those of you who just came out, I just ate the last scene. <gasps> I never knew how mad it was going to make me to be unfairly called a racist. Do I have to say I am no such thing? Okay. Do I have to brag? Uh, I don't know, brag about how I voted for Cynthia McKinney? Well, that's the thing is that the Obamacrats, I use the race card every minute. I'm a witness. Now, I notice that when I say this publicly, the Obamacrats, the Obama people, the Obama, Obama supporters just get really nasty. Their panties really get in the wad. But you see, I saw this stuff. I will not hear otherwise. I can bloody document it, okay? You know what the problem is? Okay, I'm calm. <sighs> yes, I'm calm now. Makeup! Oh, sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Austin's beloved Perry Logan with another episode of America's Favorite Game Show, Race Car! Okay, you say Race Car! I said a Race Car! Hi, welcome to another episode of Race Car, the only card Obama has! Hey, you want to play a race card? Criticize Obama point out that he is now on track. Our good friend Barack Obama is now on track to have the worst jobs record of any president in the modern era. Racist! Racist! What the hell was that? Racist! 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 Hey, little guys. It's not racism, it's pointing out such things as the fact that chronic unemployment is the worst since the Great Depression. Racist! Racist! Black unemployment is at its highest level in 27 years. Doesn't this matter to you guys? Racist! Racist! Is partisan politics all you have? Is playing the race card really all Obama has? No! Obama also has the extra to do to the doctor dog. <laughs> Obama also has the extra judicial murder card, baby! Okay, so you can't play that card too often, can you? So it's like race card city! You too can be called a racist by pointing out any of these facts. The rate of economic growth under Obama has been only slightly higher than the 1930s. Confidence among U.S. consumers under the leadership of Barack Obama has fallen to the lowest level in more than 30 years. The number of people in the U.S. who are in poverty has seen a record increase on President Obama's watch. Point that out and you'll get called a racist for sure. You see, it's the only card they have. Yeah, you see? It's the... Only card they had.